Appreciate y'all. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Let me know when you guys are good in the back. Good. All right, guys, we'll open up questions for Justin. What was your decision making process like coming back? Coming back, um, I would say definitely a uh, hard one. Me and my family sat down, and um, I just felt like um, just ending the way that we did, I feel like I can do so much more to help this team you know, win games. And I feel like that was the main goal in me coming back, because I just want to come back and just be with all my teammates, all, all my brothers, you know, and just and, and like really win and like go out with a, with a, you know, with a bang. How much personally do you feel like you had a chance to sort of be the feature guy? Um, a lot, but I say it's 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 not even about that, you know. Um, we got a brand new coaching staff, you know. Um, we got players that are that are hungry, you know, and just hate losing, you know. Like me, like just thinking about last year, every single game about last year that we lost, you know, it just like makes me so angry and like upset. Where like everyone's working so much harder, so I I really say just as like like all of us like. Every single player is just like so pissed off from like last year, man. Like we all just trying to come back and just get at it, really. So it's not even about that. To, to make it productive. On that field right there, you know, we go out there every day. Everyone gives, you know, all their all their all their effort. You know, DB's going hard against me. I'm going hard against them. You know, so it's just it's just really just like working, working out every day and just putting putting it all in. How does really factor into your decision to come back and, and what it? He had to say to you maybe during that decision-making process. Um, I didn't really know too much about who the new coach was, but really all I had known was that I had wanted to come back here and, and just and just give my all, you know, to this university yeah, and just win because I hate losing. Thing. You guys all get together as players, players who had some decisions to make and say, listen, we all have other um, decisions or was all kind of individual? Not really. I feel like it, it, it was all um, – individual but I would say everyone really has that mindset that like we just didn't want to end the way that we did last year and everyone came back and already everyone's working extremely hard harder than I've seen everyone you know really like putting the work so I feel like this year is going to be a, 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 a huge year for us. Obviously the season hasn't started but was there a point where your decision was kind of affirmed to come back where you were like okay this is the right decision I think we have you felt that yet? Or? Um, I mean yeah um, I, I would say honestly since since that new coaching staff came in that first week of us, you know, coming out, like working out, doing training, just how they had everyone, you know, like like together, doing everything together. We're working hard, going, doing everything. I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm like happy that that I came back, you know, because we're gonna be good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How would you describe the differences in practice? Uh, definitely, I would say definitely longer. They uh, take more time to to make sure that that every single detail, you know, is 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 fixed and uh, touched upon, which is good because you know. Uh, greatness takes takes time, you know, and repetition over and over and over again. So I mean, it's longer, but if you love being out there, you know, like you're gonna love it, um, every single moment of it, which I do. <laughs> What's your relationship like with uh, Coach Colbert? Um, he's a great, great dude, great dude. I was I was very very happy when we I got him because looking at his history, he has coached a lot of like 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 bigger wide receivers. So just meeting with him for the first time, I was like, hey, like, I want you to coach me, and I'm just going to be this like huge sponge and soak up everything that you know. So he's a great guy. He, he, he cares about you know, every single player, and, 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 and he just coaches as well. I, I feel like I've learned so much from him already, you know, and we're only really two weeks in the spring ball. What are some of those little things that he's maybe brought to your game? Um, I'd say definitely just being, just learning how to like control my body, like, um, like, like top of my routes, like um, counting steps, stuff like that. Really, really working on those jump balls and really like going and getting the ball instead of you know letting it you know come to me. Just small stuff, stuff like that. Where like some bigger wideouts, you know, we can get better on. How much does it help that he's got that experience in the NFL, so you can you know you know he's coming from a place that he's already done it. Oh yeah, so much. Um, I say it's 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 definitely nice to be able to like know that like he's. He's been there. He's 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 been down that path, so he could be someone that I can go to, you know, if like I need help with with anything or if if I have um, questions or anything about that stuff. He's one of the few former NFL players on staff. How much do you think that helps the guys just in general on the team and give those guys kind of instant credibility? Um, a lot, man. I mean, like, but not even him. Just I, I say. Every single coach in this football building cares cares about us. I, I can say that hundred percent. Um, they all want us to win, and 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 they do everything, um, in their power to, to make sure that we're at our tip top best. You know, day in day out. So that's all we can we can ask for. I'm just thankful that um that this coaching staff came in. You know, the coach was joking that sometimes. Yeah, always, man. Yeah, I'm always going going hard. Everything for me is really 
like hundred percent. Like I don't like taking any 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 off days. That's because I, I feel like I'm just wasting time. You know. How much have you been sort of dragging Anthony out there just to get get timing down and all that kind of stuff? Every day. Usually after practice, we'll be out there catching. Like um, my goal usually is is to be the last one off the field after every single practice. So so obviously I, I have teammates out there with me too doing doing the same thing. What do you have that goal? Um, I, I just want to be the uh, the best. Like I want my name under 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 Pitts, you know, I'm over there in the in the stadium. So I feel like um, you just got to put the time in and just every day, just do it, no matter what, no matter how you feel. Have you always been the last one to leave practice, or is that something new you started? Uh, not usually. Yeah, I'm, I'd say um, even at uh, back at Penn State, I'm over there putting in work afterwards. You know, everything takes time, but one day it's all going to shine through, and like y'all going to see. Too? Oh yeah, hundred percent. You still got mom throwing balls? Nah, she's actually now back in Jersey, but uh, oh, she'll bro. be back. Yeah, but she'll be back um, hopefully in a few months. Getting a little arm surgery. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy John surgery. She'll, she'll be back though. Still with, with Coach Colbert. I did ask him about route running because you know he he comes from a pretty high level where mm -hmm. the more refined you are, the better. Oh yeah. Has that been an eye opener a little bit? Oh yeah, I mean, really, really everything. Like, I just love the way that like he he teaches us, and like he's like young, so you know, so like he like he like he like has his cleats on. He's out there running. Yeah, he's out there, yeah, he's he's out there doing the drills for. Oh yeah, he's oh yeah, he's he's super fast. So, um, I always tell him I actually want to like see him do some um one on ones versus versus defense one day <laughs> and see what he can do. Good, I think he would he'll be he'll be good. Sorry about that, but back to the route running. Because I'm kind of obsessing on this today was with G. Allen earlier looking at you guys. What is he doing that's different than what you guys were doing? Um, it's like separation at times was not happening mm -hmm. the last couple of years. And do you feel like he's showing you some things that are going to create more separation for you? Guys? Yes, sir, definitely. He's uh, definitely teaching us how to be quicker at the line and, and not spend so much time at the line of scrimmage, you know, because everything you know, everything needs to have a vertical presence to it. So he's been really teaching us to just like get up, pop your feet, and like really like give him a, a, a vertical presence. But not even that, just just route running in general, like um, counting steps. Like I should be able to close my eyes, line up at the 13 yard line, like going up and take seven steps, I'll be at 14 yards. And like, and like, and like, I should like know that, you know, in my head. So that way game time comes, like, like I'm not lining up trying, trying to count one, two, three, four, you know? It's like, it's just automatic. So I def definitely say small stuff like that, he's definitely um, added to my toolbox, which I'm thankful guys, for. Guys, we'll have Kelsey Gomes in the back. Justin, it's uh, no secret that playing QB at Florida is a big, big task, a lot mm -hmm. of pressure. What have you seen Anthony do in terms of preparation, and what have you seen from him just now that he's kind of in that role? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say definitely. Um, I I just love how how just calm he is, and and really any situation, even like during scrimmage, you know, like it could be well, we could be backed up, you know, like because that that that's the situation that they put us in. And he's out there, he's calm, he like knows what he's doing, he's telling people where to go, making making the right checks, right reads, and, and just I just really see him putting that time and putting that work in to uh, to be that guy. You know, but um, I really say everyone, everyone's been been working so 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 hard, man. I'm like I'm so proud of this team, you know, right now, just because and like we just started, and I can't wait until camp till we can we can get out there, you know, do it again, and then hopefully take it into the to the season and just show everyone what we got on that first game. I know you led this team last year in receptions, but do you feel like a little bit more of a leader this year, just considering how many young guys are mm -hmm. in this unit? Oh yes, sir, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I definitely do feel like that. Um, I'd say definitely it's it's just cool to to have all those guys because last year obviously I knew them all. So now like we're all kind of everyone's like really like like even like closer, you know, like that. But I mean definitely yeah. I, I say I just go out there and I just try to give it everything and you know every day and and like you see everyone else following you know doing doing the same things. If not, they're already going going hard, you know. What you think about Van Jefferson wearing the Gator gloves in the Super Bowl? Super cool, man. Super cool. That was a super cool thing to watch. Just to know that you know there was a that um that he would he that he was out there playing and like maybe a few years back he was just you know right here you know doing the same thing. So it 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 just really shows how like hard work pays off because because I know he was he was in here in the, in this indoor more than anyone you know putting in work. Any more questions, guys? All right, appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate it.